Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a review of the new Juvia's Place, the Culture Eyeshadow Palette. But before we get into that, question of the day. Have you ever tried Juvia's Place? And if so, what is your favorite product? Let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So Juvia's Place is a brand that I've been wanting to try out a little bit more recently. I've had one of their eyeshadow palettes. Um, I frequently, and this is what I'm also wearing today, use their bronzer palette, but I think those are the only two products that I've ever tried from them. So when I saw that they had this palette right here that was coming out, I knew I had to get my hands on it. One of my favorite palettes used to be the Weekend Festival palette from BH Cosmetics. And it's really old. I recently got rid of it in my recent declutter video. And so this I think is like the perfect replacement for it. So in these review videos, uh, I start out going through the product details, how much it is, what exactly the product is, where you can find it. Then we move into the application process and we end with my pros and cons and my rating of the product. So first up, product details. Let's get to it. So first off, this is the Culture Palette from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place is considered a more affordable brand. Um, you can find it at places like Ulta. Um, you can also find all their products on their own website, juviasplace.com. This particular palette comes with 30 shades of rich yellows, greens, pinks, purples, oranges, there are duochrome shades, and there are glitter shadows in addition to their mattes and shimmers. This palette was inspired by the craftsmanship of West African masks and their traditional culture used in ceremonial activities. Really cool. This is $36, and for right now, it is only available at juviusplace.com. I looked and I did not see it on the Ulta website, and um, I haven't really been inside an Ulta in a few weeks since it came out, so I don't know if it's in the store, but it is not available on their website. This also is part of the culture collection, which comes with uh, duochrome liquid eyeshadows as well. So you can get the whole bundle or you can just get the culture eyeshadow palette. So let's go ahead and go into the swatches for this palette. Um, so because of the way that it's laid out, um, I actually did the swatches instead of going across in rows, I did the swatches by columns to kind of go with the colors. So uh, let's go with this first column, these oranges. So we have Naira Land, Jigawa, 1960, Shona, and Wazobia. In the next kind of green column, we have Ife, Taraba, Tiv, Ndebele, and Bayafra. In the next column, we have Benin, Efik, Kobo, Calabash, and Calabari. Next column, we have 9JA, Delta, Ashanti, Talking Drums, and Ijao. Then we have Afrobeats, Yoruba, Bono, Shakir, and Sun. And lastly, we have Boronu, Ido, Katanga, Ikawas, and Wolof. I am so sorry if I pronounced any of those words incorrectly. I did look them up and listen to the pronunciation of them. Um, but again, if I mispronounced anything, I apologize. Fun fact, there is a shade in here called Benin. I actually can trace my ancestry back to Benin. So, little fact about me. <laughs> All right, so now we have, now that we've gotten the details of the product, the swatches done with, let's go into the application process, how I created this look that's on my eyes right now. So I first started out with the shade Talking Drums and I grabbed kind of a bigger fluffy brush for that and I took that right below my brow bone. And then I went in with the shade Delta and I took a bit of a smaller, kind of more dense blending brush and I put that right below that previous shade that's more in my crease. And then I took the shade 9JA and I used that to kind of deepen up the outer edges. And then I went in with the really pretty, it's kind of, it's not quite a glitter shade, but it's a little more intense than a shimmer shade. Um, and I took that, that I think is one of their duochrome shades that they were talking about. Um, and I put that all over the lid that is such a pretty color. I'm actually so excited with how that came out. And then lastly, for the last shade in this column, I used the shade Ijao, and I put that in the inner corners as well as my brow bones to highlight. So yes, I did end up using all of the shades that were in this one particular column. So yeah, that is how I created this look. Finished it off with a little bit of mascara. 
and brow gel and there we go. I think it came out so pretty. I'm so happy with how this looks. All right, so let's get into the pros and cons of this palette. So as always, I like to start with the cons and end on a good note. Honestly, I only have one con to this palette. Spoiler alert. The only con that I have for this palette is that it doesn't have a mirror. So it's such a big palette, but it is still pretty thin and slim. And so I, when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's gonna have a huge mirror, uh, but it doesn't have a mirror. And I don't know if that's how they could keep the costs somewhat low for a 30 shade palette, only $36. I, I was a little disappointed to see that it, it doesn't have one. I felt like it had plenty of space for one. And this makes it a little less travel friendly, but that is the only con I have about this palette. So let's talk about pros. Pro number one is the quality of these shadows. So I will admit that when I was swatching them, I swatched them for TikTok. Like I actually, so if you, if you wanna go follow me over on TikTok, it's Jamie Nicole Beauty. I was swatching them over on TikTok and on TikTok I actually like swatched them on camera and I will say that the matte shades didn't actually swatch very well. Matte shades, even if they don't swatch well, that doesn't mean that they won't perform well on the eyes because you usually don't take a matte shade and just go like this, but um, they actually performed really well. They were definitely very pigmented. I went in with a light hand. I definitely still got a lot of pigment out of it. It blended well. The shimmer shade that I used, I only used, yeah, I only used two today. The shimmer shade that I used, loved it. With the glitter shade, this one right here, that was really the only one that felt like a true glitter shade. I would say more like press and pull almost. So it, it didn't work just to press it, but it also didn't work to like glide it like that. So kind of a mixture of the two, like pressing and pulling at the same time. Um, I ended up getting a lot more out of the glitter shade on my swatch doing it that way. The quality of the shades I thought was wonderful. Not surprised. Um, as I said before, I have tried Juvia's Place eyeshadows before and I thought that the quality was really great. So yeah, great quality of shades. Pro number two is the variety of shades. So this is what I was talking about with it replacing my Weekend Festival palette. One of the reasons why I loved that palette, and I'll put a picture of it right here. One of the reasons why I loved that palette so much was because of the variety of shades. Yes, for every day, I like to have everyday shades, but sometimes if I'm wanting to do a particular look for one of my videos, um, I like having those kind of out there shades, a little more colorful, a little more intense or bold. I like being able to find an eyeshadow palette that has all of them in one so that I don't have to purchase a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes that I might only use like one or two shades from here, one or two shades from there. It's like, I wish I could put this all in one palette. And I feel like this is definitely that kind of palette. So you have your more wearable shades, definitely, that you can create everyday looks with. But then you also have your more bold and tense shades that you can do a little something extra for. This is kind of like a one-stop shop. If you just wanted one palette in your collection, I think this would be the perfect candidate for that. All right, so pro number three is the layout of the palette. Because each column, you can, each column is very similar in its color palette. You can create a full look just going down one of these columns. So if you wanted to create kind of a more purple look, just go down this column, a more blue look, a more like pink look, you can go down this column, green, orange. I love the layout of this palette. It makes it very easy to figure out what to do. I love the columns ideas, um, but obviously you can use whatever you want. You don't have to like just, oh, I picked this now, so I have to use this column. Obviously you can do whatever you want. I do like that it has the shades laid out in what could be kind of a guide um, for how to create your look. So. Really love that. And then pro number four for this palette is the price. This is $36, which I know might seem like a little pricey for an eyeshadow palette, but when you consider the fact that it comes with 30 shades, that's actually a really good price, especially if you break it down to price per shadow. So it breaks down to about $1.20 per shadow. So if you look at brands like, I don't know, Anastasia Beverly Hills, that's one that comes to mind. They might have a 12 shadow palette that is $42. I think they've actually gone up on their pricing recently since the last time I bought an ABH palette. But if it is $42 for 12 shadows, that's $3.50 per shadow. So having a palette that's only $1.20 per shadow is actually really amazing. And 
one that incorporates kind of the other pros that I've given that has a variety of shades and the quality of the shadows, I think this is such a good deal and such a good price for what you are getting. And then lastly, I think that these colors are perfect for the spring and summer. This is kind of, this made me smile and made me feel like better when I opened it because of all these bright colors. I think that these colors are perfect for the upcoming seasons. They can take you from winter into spring, from spring into summer, um, love them. So time for final review and rating. I do my rankings by giving out sunflowers. So there is a possible five sunflowers that could be had with each product that I review. And I believe for this one, I would give this five sunflowers. I absolutely love it. I mean, the only con, and I really like thought and thought and thought. I turned my camera off and I sat here like thinking about cons that I could say. And the only con that I had was that it had no mirror. And all the reasons that I, I already gave um, are the reasons why I give this, I almost said 10. I would give this five sunflowers. Absolutely love it, would 100% recommend. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Give this a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. That would really help me and my channel out a lot. As for my answer for question of the day, I think, I think we all know now. This is definitely my favorite Juvia's Place product. And as I said before, I do also really love the bronzer palette from Juvia's Place. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.